Hi, I'm Maximus, and this is the Gleaner's Kitchen. All of this food was gleaned. In the Old Testament Book of Ruth, Ruth made her living wandering through harvested fields and gathering for her family the bits of grain that had been left behind. In today's modern industrialized capitalist society, gleaning takes on a new meaning. Some of us call it dumpster diving. The NRDC estimates that every night, the average grocery store throws away $2,300 worth of food. This amounts to $165 billion bills thrown away each year. The wealth that can be gleaned from the dumpster makes us question the value of these figures, and money in general. We find price tags strewn among bags and bags of fruit. How much is an apple worth to you? This is where we glean. At night, after the stores close, we go behind the back entrance, hop into a dumpster, and collect all the produce we can. The things we find are jaw-dropping. God, they're making it too easy. Yeah! Some peppers. We don't want this turkey meatball shape. Got some broccoli. This is beautiful. Look this is this. like literally the most, like this is perfect footage too. It's just like, hey look, there's boxes of food. <laughs> this is the cleanest I've ever seen it. I know. This is so clean. It's crazy. Okay. I'm tossing them around. Look at this. Holy organic Greek style yogurt. Oh my god. Wait, can I go to... <laughs> yes, it can go to Fort Warren. Oh, show me those ones. Pretty those ones eggs. Pretty. Look at these eggs. Oh my god. Oh, one of them got cracked. So you can't sell them because nobody wants to buy 11 eggs. Is there coffee in there? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> organic see. French roast fair trade coffee. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and look, it's a Blue Flex L. My uh, favorite kind of glove. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look at that beautiful food, friends. Look at how nice it is. They yeah, just yeah. throw it away. But look at that. That's much better food than most people ever see. No. And it's no, free. It's right. Because we're a wasteful society. The capitalist system we live in insists that in order for something to have value, it must have a price tag. It must be sellable. We believe that in order for something to have value, it need not be sellable, only usable. When we get home, all the food needs to be unpacked and organized. Everything gets washed, and unusable items are thrown away. The rest get filled into our fridges and pantry, ready to feed hungry mouths. Nothing gets wasted. We make juice from fruit too damaged to eat. We drink from salsa jars and use old hummus containers as Tupperware. And we cook. A lot. This night, we're making a spaghetti dinner. We're making two kinds of pasta sauces. Here is a meat sauce. Then there's a vegetarian sauce, which are both tomato-based. And this bit is for the soup stock. Yeah, so we take all of the vegetable bits that we can't use and we boil them for an hour or so and then what's, what comes out is like this thick brown broth and you use that to flavor your soups or rice and it makes everything taste really good. Right now I'm processing herbs because the herbs, some are good and some are bad, but that's okay. We just take the bad stuff and we throw it in the stock pot and then we chop up the good herbs. So this is oregano. It smells really good. When most people go into the kitchen, they ask themselves, what do I want? Which quickly transforms into, what product should I buy? We think differently. When we walk into the kitchen, we ask ourselves, what do we have? What can we make with it? We use whatever resources we have available to produce fresh, wholesome meals at almost no cost. And then we feed people. Lots of people. For this meal, we served pasta with tomato or meat sauce, stir-fried green beans, roasted rosemary potatoes, a simple salad, toasted dinner rolls, and fresh squeezed apple cider. It was delicious. We asked for donations, but not one person paid for their meal. 
Money is a way to exchange value, but it is not the only way. We give away food because it is the most meaningful way we have found to exchange value with one another. This is an orchid we found in the dumpster a few months ago. We watered it regularly, and now it is blooming. This plant, for me, is the embodiment of what we are trying to do. Make new life out of the trash. At this point, you're probably wondering why we need to do a fundraiser if we have such a disdain for money and all of our food is free. It's true that requesting money is rather incongruous with the Gleaner's Kitchen vision, but there's one thing we haven't yet figured out how to dumpster, and that's a restaurant space. The Gleaner's Kitchen is taking on an ambitious summer project. We hope to create a public space where all forms of value can be exchanged freely. We imagine a 24-hour cafe decorated with dumpstered flowers and cheap art, where people hungry for a different world can come and exchange ideas. There will always be coffee and tea and warm lentil soup. Meals will be served every day with special events on the weekends. We imagine concerts, poetry readings, academic lectures, and craftivist workshops, all facilitated by the preposterous amounts of free food our society has somehow forgotten. Art will be everywhere. It will be shared as freely as the food. No one will leave the kitchen without a bit of cardboard in their pockets and a bag of vegetables for their table at home. To create this space, we need your help. We need artists to suffuse the world with art. We need dumpster divers to suffuse it with food. We need musicians to make our rhetoric into poetry. We need money for rent and utilities, but money is the least of our concerns. Most of all, we need visionaries. We need people who imagine the world different than it is and who want to help us make it so. Thanks.